Tell me what it feels like having 18 million people following you. She has now exposed her daughter Danielle for having an abortion at 14 years old. Danielle Cohn and Mikey Tua have apparently moved on, but they won't stop shading each other. Danielle's dad, Dustin Kahn, joined YouTube to expose Danielle's real age. Danielle Kahn and her brother, Chad Archambault, shared their tough childhood with Dustin and avoided speaking on Danielle's age. I just feel like, I don't know, I feel bad for Max. For who? For Max. Like the girl that he yeah. had, I don't know. I mean, yeah. she's also, apparently, she's like a drama queen or some shit. Yeah, I mean, I know them, but I don't like know them to the point where I like, well, wouldn't know Josh really said. what happened. I don't know, it's weird. I don't know. I feel like just girls in LA in general are fake. Hmm. So, I'm not surprised with girls taking other people's boyfriends. Why do you need to have your nails done all the time? I don't necessarily need to have my nails done because, I don't know, sometimes I'll like go like months without having them done. It's just, I don't why know. Not? Yeah, why not? Also, she lives like right by me and she doesn't feel good, so I'm just like, why not? Um, so what got you to doing social media in general? Um, I started because of the app Musical.ly. Uh, all my friends were doing it and it was when like the don't, Judge Me Challenge was trending. Do you guys remember that? The I do. I was a part of yeah. that actually. Um, and I just wanted to do it because all my friends were doing it. So I posted my first TikTok, Musically. It's so weird now that it's TikTok. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I posted it and it didn't really go viral. Um, but like a month later, one of my videos did. It got like featured. And then I don't know. I just started kind of like gaining a lot of followers like crazy. So it was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Have you met all of your friends through social media? No. And if I do, usually they turn out fake. And then yeah. we stop being friends. What does that mean? Uh, like they switch up, I guess. Wait, that's not the way to put it. I just think most of the time they become fake, meaning they just only care about followers and they just hang out with you to like be on your page and not really to like hang out with you. So, so when you started musically, did you expect it to kind of be like no, blow, definitely like, did not. Did you expect to kind of like blow up and become like having like 30 million followers, right? Did you expect any of this to happen at all? No. <laughs> definitely not at all. Um, can social media be dark sometimes? I feel like social media can be dark sometimes just mainly because of the comments on social media, the things people post on there. Um, like the world nowadays is literally social media. Like everything mm -hmm. in the world is on social media. Like you don't go and check the news anymore. You go on social media and it like tells you on your iPhone like what happened this morning. So I feel like everything is on your cell phone now and it's really just made it super dark and like, I don't know, it just makes people only care about their phones and stuff and there's so much out in the world that you should like go and explore and like just like appreciate and nowadays all teenagers do is sit on their phone. I like that. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, I left the door. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I think I'm gonna have to go get some food. Yeah, and start adding like even raw footage and then we can just talk about edits of it. Yeah, I think there should be a session about that. Just It might be terabytes of footage, like it, it's a lot. So I don't know how- It might be like a storage, I like guess, like a limited, like maybe at some point we're just gonna have the, it's full huh? and we can't have like more things. Well, there's yeah, every day. We can delete if you add it. I'm not saying crazy, I'm just like, I'm not going to be crazy. If I take your picture, they always come at me, right? Okay, but it's literally just a picture. I know, but you know that. Every single time, if I take any picture or film anything, the haters and all the people come at me. Like, so yeah, but it's not that big.
make a video. It's like literally your daughter taking a picture. Yeah, but they still. I think everything. you just need to stop carrying on social media sense. Yeah. Like people tell me I'm pregnant, and I know I'm not pregnant. <laughs> but you think I care? <laughs> Oh, she's pregnant. She looks pregnant, but I'm not pregnant. You better not be. Oh my god, Wolfie, you're so cute. So why do you even care? It's not that big of a deal. I know, but I just don't like it when people say I forced you and I'm making you do all this stuff. And if I take a picture of you, then you know those two crazy psychopaths that those two adults that have those hate pages on me are going to come at me and say crap all the time, and I can't stand that. I think your granddaughter wants you to know that you shouldn't care. Why, Wolfie? Yeah. I want another dog. No. No more dogs. I just cleaned up shit over there. You I cleaned it? up in the laundry You're room. Tired. I in the laundry and there's a pile of diarrhea. I had to clean it. You know what sucks is when you, like, you get shadow banned on TikTok because you post a brand. What does shadow banning mean? Shadow ban means when no, they don't put your videos on the For You page and people don't really see them. They say it doesn't Ew. exist, but we don't know what it is. <laughs> I would love to see you on OnlyFans or a fan feel posting sexy pictures in lingerie or showy underwear. Leave the it's literally gross. It makes me like uncomfortable. But also, like you have to remember that it's new. Like even if you go out in public, people are still gonna be like that. There's pedophiles that live next. To, okay, there's pedophiles that live next door to people. There's pedophiles that live. Anywhere, like you could go to the beach, you could go to um, the water park, and there's gonna be a person who thinks like that. You know, that's watching the people. Look, so how is it any different from a kid wearing a bikini what's online the to a kid site? wearing a bikini at the water park? You don't know who's around you. It's true. You know, you just have it's to scary. be- scary. It is, but you have to be safe with your children out in public. If she's at the house and she wants to wear a bikini in her backyard and take a picture, she's at the house. There's nobody here. And she might post it to the internet, but those men, or those women, because women are too, they can't be next so to her. They it. can't touch her. They can't see her, you know? How does that make you feel as a mom and, and like watching your daughter online? How do you protect her? How does that make you feel? Um, look, 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 someone said it. Mm, I'm a bus. I'm yeah. getting my nut to you, lol. I don't oh my god, stop I don't fighting. Much stop I don't it. I get to see her account, but like, I'll get like DMs where people will be like, oh, when she turns 18, you're gonna make her do an OnlyFans because all you care about is the money. When she turns 18 years old, how would I even be in control of her to. Why would I get the money? Why would I make her make it only fans? That would be her decision. And I don't think she would anyways. But TikTok rooms back up. Yeah. Don't care, don't like TikTok room. Oh I think they cause too much pain for the influencers. TikTok room. And then they post stuff that doesn't even need to be on there. Like if you post some like anytime I post something on my story, it's automatically on there. And it could not even be about the situation that they think it's about. Do you think those those channels negatively affect your mental state? Yeah, they do. How do you think it affects like your career too? It can affect your career yeah. because if you constantly have negative stuff on you, brands don't want to work with you. Just like they ruined it for her for a couple of brands because of the hate pages and TikTok rooms because they make assumptions or other people make assumptions and then it keeps like those YouTube spilled videos. Those people, they ruin a lot of stuff for a lot of people just because they need their clout so they use the name. Just like they started a video saying Danielle Cohn made it only fans and her mom made her do it. And that's ruining her, like, because the company she was just working with said, why did she make it only fans? She didn't make it only fans, you know? And it's so messed up that they can start all these lies and all these rumors and people actually believe it. But people feed off of the drama and the negativity. That's what they want. Mm. It's the only time you see stuff go viral and good is when it's drama or negativity. I remember when Musical.ly was a thing and Danny was in love with Lauren Gray. She was Lauren Beach then. And, you know, Danny wasn't famous, but Danny was like, oh, she's so beautiful. You know, I'm so happy for her. I wish I could be here one day. Nothing negative said about her. Now TikTok, it's all negative. Oh, that person's ugly, that person's fat, that person doesn't deserve a platform. Like, why can't it just go back to where everybody just says, congrats, or they just work harder? You know, anybody can do it. 
You just gotta put your time into it. Instead of sitting behind a screen okay. being negative, just be positive and believe in yourself. Yeah. I'm tired. Tell me like three, two, one, and all. Okay, three, <laughs> two, one. I'll take a lot. So. Okay. 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 Are you ready? One, two, three. Ah! Wait, go again. Okay, one, two, three. These are cute. Okay, I'll do some standing there. Ah! I hope I fall in so then I can stop being so hot. <laughs> 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 okay, ready? Oh, like from right here. But yeah, like go right there. It's cute, you can see the buildings in the bag. I'm good. I have some pictures to choose from. I'm I wish I could take pictures that fast. Let's yeah. take a picture of you and Desmond for the bag. Can I take a picture of you and Des for the bag? Yeah. Ready? One, two, three. Can you get her mom taking that? You can read up take another one. Okay, guys, this is for the bay house. The bay house. <laughs> Not Danny. No, mom, don't look at the camera and say you gotta be more natural. Oh. So take a picture for the bay house. All right, let's take a picture. <laughs> let's take a picture for your bay house hey. account. No, no worries. Okay, got it. it sounds like, like it. it. Oh, can you send us? My mom. Your comments and stuff. Well, yeah, but you do like, like the like, I, I just, posting and stuff. Because no. I'm not that like tech. <laughs> no, I do not do it on Snap or anything, so don't say it. No, like you I like do the like I do YouTube your thumbnails. posting and stuff. Yeah, yeah, I just post it, but I don't do the comments and stuff. People hate on her. No, they hate on me way too much. Are we good? We're good. We got it. I can't find the thumbnails. You see this? My boobs are gonna pop out. Hmm. Do I need change? I mean, sometimes I'll like wear outfits like this in public. It's just, well actually no, I wear crop tops and stuff. I just like to be comfortable when I go out. Um, so I'm going to change right now. I think Desi's changing too. Yeah. We're going to go eat and then uh, we're going to the mall also. So I'm going to change before we do that. Second hole in this year, or my third hole in this year. This no, is going to hurt though. I know, but those don't hurt. Those are easy. Do like I'll do a tattoo. We don't have time for a tattoo. I uh, know, that's gonna be Do an the hour. one that goes like no, right wait, there. You should go to um, um, LA and have Romeo, Romeo? do it. He yeah, comes Romeo in, did. He comes to my leg. house. He did. This one. I'm Romeo. telling you. Mikey's calling you again. Oh my god. Follow him. No, I will. Oh. Hello? Hello? What? You can say I love you. Okay, sorry. I love you. Bye. <laughs> that was cute. Alright, let me get Michael's reaction. So you're gonna say, Danny, I have something to show you. Okay, Michael. What do you do you like it? I think it's really cute actually. I love it. Did it hurt? Really? I mean actually yeah. That feels like it's so thick. It did, but it doesn't really hurt anymore. Like Not now? Is it hard to heal? He said like a couple weeks. Really? Yeah. I I think you should get it. Uh-uh, then. I'll do Get this. Don't be lame. <laughs> Danny That's said, like don't a be lame. Clear do you get deja vu? Me and Danny are going to Pandora because jewelry. Duh. This is what we're doing right now. Welcome to Pandora. Everyone else stayed over there. I know, and my mom has my car. <laughs> so how am I They still to have pay? to pay. And then, um, yeah, we're just waiting. Like, like that. That's like 
you? Yeah, yeah that's very cute. Yeah. I wanted to do like, maybe like, do you guys have any that would be good for like tough ones? Yeah. Like a pinky one? Mm -hmm. yeah, so I'm gonna see if I can get the small one. Let me see if I can get on this And then Within the next couple of days, if you do, you get $10 off your next $20. Danny, how much did you just spend? I spent like $400. Danny! Mom, no, that's not bad. I got like five rings. Yes, it is. We have rent due tomorrow. Okay, you can't say that because then that's literally saying that I pay the rent. Oh, well, take that part. Danny, you're spending way too much money. Not really. Yes, you are. Okay, okay, I'll you slow it down. No, I'll no. slow it down. You need to try to invest it. Mom, look what I happened. Do. Look what happened with emergencies. Like what happened with silver. Like things like that happen. Yes, yeah, but that money saved. So, they're so cute. We got your nails done last night. You have to admit though that this bracelet is so cute. Tell me what it feels like having 18 million people following you. Uh, having 18 million people follow me feels obviously amazing because to know that so many people support me. But it also can feel pretty weird sometimes just knowing that there's 18 million people following me. Because the way I think of it is I know that like a this is like some math, but I know that like a football field holds like 200k people. And when I go to a football game, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so many people. And when I think about how many followers I have, that's like a hundred times those. So it makes me feel like, whoa, I have this many people following me. And it kind of just makes me kind of nervous because I'm always like, oh my god, like, what am I doing to have these people following me? Like, do they follow me because they don't like me? Do they follow me because they do like me? It just kind of makes me, like, nervous in a way and kind of, like, overwhelmed sometimes. But mostly at the end of the day, it just makes me happy that that many people want to follow me on social media. Do you think you have influence in the world beyond 18 million people? Like, do you think you have the power to change the world? Yeah, definitely. I think I have so many ideas that would just really help the world. And also, I have a lot of ideas that obviously I would tell you them and you would be like, okay, like that's not really something for the world. But I know that those ideas could make lots of money and that money could go to help the world. So you want to change the world? Yeah.